just as consumers respond to changes in the price of a good by changing their demand for it, producers respond to changes in the price of a good by changing the amount it supplies. Typically, suppliers will increase the quantity supplied of an item if they experience an increase in the price of that good. Quantity supplied usually has a positive or direct relationship with price. The price elasticity of supply is a measure of just how responsive quantity supplied is to a change in its price. Price elasticity of supply is calculated by dividing the percentage change in quantity supplied by the percentage change in price. Because of the traditionally positive relationship between price and quantity supplied, the price elasticity of supply will be greater than or equal to zero. For example, if the price of fingernail clippers suddenly dropped by 50%, the number of fingernail clippers produced would also fall. If the quantity supplied decreased by 30%, the price elasticity of supply would be 30% divided by 50%, which is an elasticity of 0.6. Much like demand, supply elasticities can be classified as being elastic or inelastic. An elastic supply occurs when the quantity of a good or service that producers supply is relatively sensitive to changes in the price. The percentage change in the price is larger than the percentage change in quantity supplied. This means that if the price of a good or service decreases by 10%, sellers reduce the quantity they supply by more than 10%. In this case, sellers are pretty sensitive to changes in the price of their product because price greatly impacts the change in the quantity they will want to produce. An inelastic supply arises whenever the supply of a good or service does not change much according to the price of that good or service. When calculated, the price elasticity of supply is between zero and one. For example, a 10% increase in the price of a good causes sellers to increase the quantity supplied by less than 10%. Thus, the sellers are relatively insensitive to price changes because price changes do not greatly impact the quantity they want to provide. Suppose there's a 10% increase in the price of cheese. Farms then decide to increase their production by 5%. This means there's a price elasticity of supply, which is 5% divided by 10% for an elasticity of 0.5, which is considered inelastic. When any change in price causes an infinite change in supply, this is a perfectly elastic supply. In this case, sellers are so sensitive to a decrease in the price of their product that they reduce the quantity supplied to zero. The supply curve is a horizontal line. This is a hypothetical example that does not really exist in reality. It's difficult to make an infinite amount of a product and situations often change. A perfectly inelastic supply does not change in response to changes in the price. That is, the price elasticity of supply is equal to zero. Here, any change in the price of a good or service leads to no change in the quantity supplied. The supply curve is vertical. For example, there's only one of each painting by Leonardo da Vinci. Each piece is all that can be supplied to the market, regardless of the price.